Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. It's Monday, right? Okay, it's Monday. <laughs> Today, I thought I'd bring you guys along with me this week to see what it is actually like building a home. Because overall, it's not just a matter of saving your money, finding someone to build your home to give them that money, and then bada bing, bada boom, you have a house. I honestly wish it was like that, but it's not. Unfortunately. So Monday I use as my get it together day because there are a lot of moving parts when it comes to your build. So I have found that picking one day to figure out what has happened, what hasn't happened in order to make sure that you are on the same page as your builders. And also because they have a lot of moving parts going on as well. They have different people in the office, they have different departments, they have different subcontractors. Some subcontractors are better than others and some may have come on time or not have come on time. Either way, there's a lot happening at once. And at the end of the day, this is your project. And although it seems like you paid someone a lot of money to take on this responsibility, it's actually your responsibility. It's your project, it's your home, it's your money. Making sure that it goes the way it's supposed to go should be on your to-do list. Being on top of your build allows you to advocate for yourself from a better position because ultimately you are the person who has to send an email when things aren't going the way they're supposed to go. Where are the things I ordered? Why did the contractor not show up? When are they going to show up? Last Friday, I was told I would receive an important email that I have yet to receive. So all it really takes, because you can't force someone to text you or email you any faster, but what you can say is, Hey, I still have not received that email that you said you would send. I was looking really forward to reading it. Will you have it done by the end of the day? Send. You have to be the one willing to call somebody and set up a meeting if you're unhappy with something or you're confused about something. You have to be that person because no one else will be that person for you. And obviously this doesn't give you the right to be a complete asshole to people, but it is important to learn how to be professional when working with several different departments in one company where these individuals are meant to give you a service, yes, but also defend their point and defend themselves. And so therefore you also have to defend yourself. And I've learned that staying on top of your build helps you be an asshole in the way you want to be an asshole if you have to be an asshole about it. Because sometimes you have to be the asshole. Filing a list of all the houses. Hey, Danny. Yeah, I just got off the phone with the project manager. Yeah, and what do you say? I didn't like anything that he had to say. He was talking about the wall. What the fuck? <laughs> back from the meeting with our project manager and I'm smiling so it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. But while I still have everything fresh in my mind, I still wanna show you guys my notepad and my binder. So in this clipboard holder, I have a notepad in here which I pretty much use as a checklist, a way to process, a way to journal, a way to take notes. And today is the 24th of August. So I'm gonna write that up top. And I'm just gonna write down the pinpoints of discussion that he brought up, which are the retention wall. Another thing he brought up was tiles and another delay. And so I just wanna make sure that I stay on top of that. I've noticed that writing things out helps process the situation. It gives a date as to what we talked about, why we talked about it, how we move forward from what we spoke about, when do we get to move forward on those things. So this notepad has been really helpful to have. 
And another thing that I look at very often is my binder with any physical document I have ever received from my builders. I would say that my most viewed document in this binder is my cost breakdown. And you can see that I have things highlighted because for the most part in this breakdown, the things that happen are around the same time. So for example, we have a tile delay. And so I can see where the tiles are in this list and ask if it is holding up any of the other things that are around that piece of work. And not only could it be holding things up, it also could not be holding things up. So while that delay is happening, are there other things that we can do that are around that job? So that's another big tip that I have that I'm sure that everyone says. Keep all your physical documents, read over them, ask questions about them, write things down, filter through whatever you gotta filter through because you want to be able to move with your project as it moves forward and know what's going on. And it also lets your builders know that you ain't no dummy, that they can't slip anything by you. You are looking at the same thing that they're looking at and you probably know every single word of it. So nothing gets by you. And that's on period. And let's end this video on a high note, baby. What the heck? This is my first clip with a baby seat in the back of my car? Who is she? We don't know. But I thought it'd be fun to drive to the house and show you guys the things that have happened since the last video. And of course, in Florida fashion, we are having our afternoon rain shower. And last I checked, Bestie, when you're in camera form, you're not waterproof, so you better run. <laughs> run, Bestie, run. Don't step in the puddle. <laughs> we made it. I'm not joking. You see that it's raining, but look. It is blue and sunny. Florida is so weird that way. Okay, clearly looking a little different from last time. Starting with the two most obvious things that you can see from this angle, you can see that the walls are textured and painted as well as our cabinets have been installed. We also have our doors, so I'm just gonna switch you guys up around so you guys can see. You have seen the entryway to this office before. It looks so different now. So now as we walk around, you'll see that the door frames and the doors are on where they're supposed to be. And the high ceilings with big doors makes a big difference. I love it. Ah, oh, my goodness. It is true as I come to the house and see things happening little by little, there's no doubt visually this feels awesome. And we made it to Friday, people. As always, thank you so much for stopping by to chill with me. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like this video if you did. You've made it this far. And subscribe so that way we could chill again in the next video. As always, I will talk to you guys in the comments down below. I'd love to see how you guys are doing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!